Okay, you say something. Hi. Hi. Say it again. I have multiple Mexican kids locked in my basement. Perfect. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it starts with the melody, and I made the melody in piano. Uh, it's like there was the trance lead in the stems. Where is it? Here it is. And I wanted to make it, like, have a similar melody, but not really the same exact one because it wouldn't sound good in the piano. So, where is it? It's got, uh, like, reverb and crap, but then there's the bit crush that goes up, and it, like, sounds cool. And then it gets here. And then the filter comes and cuts out the higher frequencies. I took a pad from the original um, pack and I just blurred it in Edison. And that gives a bit of texture. Very nice. Oh, and then I added uh, this thing called Scrubby, which is like, it's good for you making glitches, but it also adds like a bit of extra like granular stuff in there. But yeah, without it, it just like, it's flat and dumb. But with it, it's oh, fun. Okay, so it's just, a, it's just a delay. Yeah, it's kind of like, Basically. um, it, it kind of sounds almost like crystallizer if you're not paying yeah. close attention. But I, it's like, it just adds a bit more movement in the background. Um, then I took the original piano stem and I think I just like put vinyl on it and called it a day. I did. That's exactly what I did. And then here's just a Reese bass. His name is John. Very sexy. It's just like saw stuff, detune saw, and then you low pass it and Kim will crush it and then more filter stuff. And then Harmer making sparkly business. It's like the, 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 the one trick that everyone knows in Harmer. Where like you turn up this noise resonance in the blur and it makes this like sparkly and then you just put crap on it to make it sound good. How else do you do that? How else do you do that, Mr. Young? You know, if you if you have Ableton, you know, like a normal good producer, you know. When was the last time you opened Ableton? Two days ago. Oh shoot. All right. <laughs> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Literally last no, night ask, for me. As we Ask me, like, when was the last time I made a song in there? And then that's a different question. When was the last time your mom hugged you? <laughs> mm. Damn. Um, then it just, like, low passes over here. And I add in, like, the bass pluck uh, stem that he provided. Oh, and then just like the lead sound reverbed out and the the, the distance. After the intro, um, the reverb goes and it does a bit crush thing. And it sounds cool. It, goes. Ooh, it does that thing. And then this is just also the uh, piano, the chopped piano stem. So this sound is it's the, the original bass stem. And I just chopped it up and made a rhythm out of it. The thing that makes it sound cool is the spec ops. This, the, the, the cool thing with this sound is the mp 3 fi Without it, it sounds like that. And then with it, it sounds like cool and stuff. But then you add in the, like, a frequency shifter before it. Fucking Zelda, you. Shut up. Don't don't judge and me. Spectral compressor. Yeah, and this is like my favorite thing, honestly. I don't use it enough. Then it's just like OTT and Camel Crusher and fattening it up. And then in this patcher, I add a tiny bit of uh, impulse. And this impulse is actually also from uh, the pack. Right there. I took that and I tuned it down and I made it into a little, a little impulse. It does. It kind of sounds dumb on its own, but then you add in the sub on top of it, and it just shoot. I think it the low mid three hundred hertz right. frequency from your sub. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Why do I even have you? I'm gonna kick you from the call. Can I do that? Yeah, this is just like I put the same uh, sounds in there as well over here. Basically, drop sounds. But this is just the same sound as here that I rearranged. Can you explain the benefit of doing every single thing in one pattern? Oh, because then I can do this and I don't have to copy 15,000 different patterns over here and then make every single one unique and make changes. I just have everything there and then I can. Oh, the other thing is I want to change notes of here and just do it through. It helps a lot with like melodic dubstep when I have like 15,000 chord layers. I can just change every single one to be the right note. That's the benefit. I actually have a good reason for that. So thank you very much. Then I took the trance lead again. Don't they Is that right? Yeah. And it just frequency shifts up and becomes a riser. And then here I just straight up took the original song, which he provided in the, the pack. I just chopped it up a bit. Texture and the vocal chops as well on the background. That vocal chop's really nice. Most of the, the stuff in the drop is actually just the original stems that I chopped up. So there's one, which one is this? Yeah, that's literally just the original stem. I didn't do anything except put EQ, distortion, and then one pitch map to tune this harmonic from here to there. Uh, the next one is, it's just a little chunk of the sound. It starts with that and I added a multi-band delay to make like this burster effect. Uh, yeah, fun. And then frequency shifter occasionally to like retune it, add that like tonality there. EQ, which uh, comes in here to do that. And then Convolver, giving it the good goodness. EQ, OTT, distortion, EQ, EQ. Just other things. Oh, I also added some to like create little background blips and things just for like rhythm. Fun. And then this one is just another bit of the stem that I frequency shifted. Nope. There you go. And I just like changed that uh, frequency throughout to make different tones. I put a pan snare into a convolver. So without it, and then with it, it just adds like this kind of ringy background. And then I put the same, yeah, the same uh, impulse in there to give it tonality again. And then OTT distortion and reverb. So just shove it in the background. Extra sounds that were not from the sample pack include, but are not limited to, lasers. And then a chord layer that just kind of goes Womp womp. On top of that, there's this little bass pluck that I added to give it like more transient stuff. And without it, it kind of just sounds dumb and bad. But with it, it sounds good. And then the sub is also in here. And there's two versions of the sub. One is just a flat blomp, and the other one has a lot more of a pitch transient thing. So it goes boom. And that's like for the more quicker runs so that it's like more movement in the bass low end stuff. Fun. This is the, again, the same exact uh, drop stems, but there's a Vocodex on there. Um, frequency shifter doing stuff. And then a pitch map, good old pitch map with just like I got a uh, preset like scale and then just move things around to different notes that sounded good. And then Camel Crusher and OTT, all good stuff. And that just makes little filler bits. That one, there you can hear the pitch map. Then on top of that, there's just like 
uh, drum rides and ride loops and hat loops and all this good stuff. Um, and then there's like this thing just adds like background reverb stuff. Oh, this is fun. This is the YouTube video that was showcasing how Chroma works. And I just took it and like put some effects on it. Chroma. And <laughs> I put pitch map on it because I don't have Chroma. <laughs> but I I needed to put something on it to make it sound fun. So I, I used pitch map and also um this thing again. Chroma. Just adding more texture to it, because without it it sounds Chroma. Plain and boring. Chroma. Yeah. Chroma. Chroma. Are you stuttering it at the end too? Oh, I am. Yeah. Just a tiny bit. You can't hear it, but like without it, it kind of just sounds like it cuts off too early. Chroma. I don't know. I liked it with that on it instead. Chroma. Um, Is that you saying Chroma? No, that's from the the tutorial. Chroma. A harmonic sweetener. I just downloaded the. Super video. Crazy. You downloaded the entire video. I did. I did. There's like a four minute audio file just living in my project that has the entire video downloaded. Downloaded. <laughs> Shut up. I think that's everything in here. This thing is simple. It's just that trance lead again with a frequency shifter. And it just like pitches down and more vocal decks and it's just like a filler thing. Then this part is again, just the exact same uh, bass stems. It's just a little, little clippy clip. And I did the same thing with the pan snare. It just starts like that. And then you put a frequency shifter, this pan snare, and then convolver again. And that's essentially the sound. Then you just distort the crap out of it. Camel Crusher OTT and then a uh, disperser just to make it sound zappy a tiny bit. And I'm just using that same like bass pluck from earlier as like a, a, a thick below it. Oh yeah, and then down here just more more like hat loops and stuff. And then the vocal chops again come in the background. Oh, and this is again just the same exact trance lead. Like Phil, who's Phil? But it just has like a phaser on it. Why do you have two separate layer layers there? One is an octave up, and it's panned to the right, and the other one's the same normal octave, and it's panned to the left. Oh, the square lead that I use in literally everything. There we go. I just like took the. Basically the formula from like the lead that I made for Lumerain and I just put it in Serum so I could just access it as a, a preset. It's got a, a comb filter on it that's on the stereo mode. And this is a cool, I don't know if you guys use this, but I use this a lot. If you have something that's completely mono, you can put it on and put it at like a lower frequency and turn on the stereo mode. It just makes this really nice like stereo effect that when you, Put it right back into mono it like doesn't have any phase issues at all so i can actually show that so like that's without it and then with it and then if you put that back to mono it sounds exactly the same it's essentially you just did this kind of deal but better and like it different sections of the frequency will go in the left ear and different ones in the right ear and it sounds very good. Then you got just like OTT and EQ Disperser just finishing it up the sound. And that's just like a layer on top of the same uh, pluck sound. Um, I think, honestly, that was a terrible tutorial. But it's all done now because then it just goes right back in the same exact sound from earlier. Uh, <laughs> uh and it, i just added in a clap and like hat loops and stuff and same thing here it's just the exact same build put frequency shifters on things that didn't have frequency shifters and so it just slowly fades into tune 
you want to know how I did this drop? Here, let's see if I can do it again. And then a different beat. And that's it. Uh, snare is actually, I think, also an iWrite sample. And I just tuned it up. And then I also added the reverb from this one, which just gets side chained when it's actually playing. It doesn't, the whole snare doesn't play. That is the drum. Thank you for asking a question. Participation points. 10 points to Gryffindor. Um, What's your social security number? Heavier rides and more stuff and more effects and just things like that. This is a little extra layer that I added on top because without it, it doesn't have like as much uh, power because before it was like, like chill and plucky, but then this is where like, it actually has to be a little more heavy. And now this guy is not complete. There we go. Um, it is a bass that I made in Serum right here that I did this trick with where like you drag a sample out of Serum. I think I used Morph for this. I had like a, a Super Saw as an input or the, I guess the sidechain input. Where is it? That's the original. And I just did that same comb filter trick. Frequency shifter because I use that throughout to change the, the tonality of it, along with like changing the pitch of the sample. And then a Vocodex and a Morph. The Vocodex just makes that effect, but then the Morph is the thing that's actually like making the color fun. Uh, and then Disperser and all of this like post-processing, like distortion and stuff. Just beef it up. And that sounds bad, but together, together, it like adds a bit more like stabbiness to each of these hits. Here, again, it's, it's the exact same thing. I just copied and pasted. I didn't want it to be that way, but I was like, that sounds really cool. I'm gonna leave it like that. Yeah, and then I just go back to the original drum beat at the end with that same like, breakdown bass but now it's over here with full drums and as it goes on the frequency shifter just slowly tunes down as like winding down and then adds a bit more reverb and then at the very end is this guy again wow just to like fade it off in the reverb and that's it that's the entire thing i gotta edit this now and no, no, no. cut out like 40 minutes of nonsense conversation this is not going on youtube it's never gonna it's never gonna be posted <laughs>